Muy buenas chicos, ¿cómo están? Sean bienvenidos, yo soy amigo Vir y vamos a ver mi primera reacción sobre la versión eh, 3.6, ¿vale? Vamos a quitar de aquí a las chicas guapas que están bailando del coro porque, pues bueno, ya saben que ellas son muy bailarinas y, y distraen a todos los que ven el video, ¿vale? Vamos a quitar todo esto que está aquí arriba para que puedan ver ustedes tranquilamente el live stream y puedan disfrutarlo, venga. Ahora sí, vámonos para allá. Norman Cannon, venga. Dice, se puede poner en español. Tiene subtítulos, Norman. Verga, está hablando de los dragones. We also became the apocalypse itself. Is this what they've become after experiencing the apocalypse? No one can withstand the power of the apocalypse. Lol. Ese va a estar mamadísimo ese. Ese güey va a usar todos los elementos. Norman Cannon dice Aparece Cabeza Bombo con ellos Cristóbal Gamer dice Ese es un jefe Sí Es un dragón por lo que parece Es el dragón de Najira al parecer LOL, este cabello es así. Baishu. Qué guapo. Norman Cannon dice: Parse una planta mutante. Ah, ese sí es cabello. Buenas, Carlos. ¿Qué pedo con Cabe? La competición está heating up. Oh, y aquí está Cabe, bringing up the rear. ¿Qué pedo, güey? No mames, estoy bien aquí. Genshin Impact Version 3.6 Special Program. Wow, I, you know, I didn't expect we'd appear right after the trailer this time. I hope you all enjoyed that. Anyway, we've got a jam-packed program today, and we even have more hosts than usual. Eso es así. Why don't we go around and take a moment to introduce ourselves? <laughs> sure thing. Hey, everybody, it's so good to see you all again. I'm Kimberly Ann Campbell, the voice of Nahida. Cristóbal Gamer dice Ahora están poniendo chivis que no pintan nada extra Tu nombre también era bonito Gracias Yeah, uh, I'm pretty good, thanks, doctor. But I, I do have this problem where I am way too obsessed with my cute little chibi. Hello. Aww, me too. Anyway, I'm sure a lot of our Dice, viewers have already seen our tremenda voz de doctor. Sí, la del doctor está buena. Yeah, you've all been a part of the traveler's journey at some point or another. That's right, and we'll be seeing everyone again to experience some new stories together in the upcoming version. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, me too. You know, I think we're ready to jump into some upcoming content, like, you know, I don't know, one of our new playable characters in version 3.6. Mejor de que quieres que te hablen, hablen de ti. His name is Baiju? Baiju? Is that how you say it? subtle, Sean. <laughs> nice. I'm sure everyone's waiting to see which event wish the new characters will be appearing in. So, let's get to our first redemption code and in the meantime, everyone will also be Oye, ni lo tiene Ni lo tiene Chibi? Sounds good. No recuerdo. Debe tener, ¿no? Devuelven el código. 
Y lo estoy tapando para variar. <risa> Nada, chicos, el código búsquenlo allá abajo. Se los pongo allá abajito. Ya a esta altura ya lo deberían haber buscado, pero bueno. Primera parte, Najida y... Najida y Nilou. Segunda parte, Baishu ganó. Ahora, ¿será que Baishu cumple? Yo digo que sí, Chris, con la regla de... De que todos los del Yu están mamadísimos. Dime un personaje del de Yu que no, no esté mamado. Ah, bueno, está... Vale, el arma de Baishu. El, ¿Cómo se llama esta vieja? Hasta la morenita. Creo que es la única, ¿no? Ah, bueno, y la otra, la, la abogada. Que no están mamadas, ¿no? Dice. Yo no pensé que viniera Ganyu. Sí, sí, dijeron. LOL, cómo pega, weón. Está guapo sus ataques, weón. Es como una especie de kung fu. Ta, pa, pa. Ah, y la otra que habla es la serpiente, ¿no? Cristóbal Gamer. Dice. Exdi la serpiente igual habla. Sí. Es Robin. Pensé que era. Pensé, al principio pensé que era Kiki, weón. Norman Cannon dice: El escudo se parece al de Toma. Oh, wow. Dice: Igual que Osifisil. His abilities have helped Bubu Pharmacy make a reputation for itself in Liyue Harbor. But most importantly, Baiju is a gentle and refined physician and is hard. No, si no se nota que que es un allá todo punto cero, ¿no? Solo que este no es como se dice. No es clerista, ¿no? No es elitista, perdón. Oh, I see. So he's that kind of doctor. What kind did you think he was? Oh, I don't know. I kind of thought he might be the type of doctor who does good things. Bueno. His own nefarious plan. You know, vale, bueno plan. I can save you, but for a price. Uh, I guess he just seems kind of mysterious like that. <laughs> well, I give your imagination some credit, but sorry, he isn't quite the suspicious doctor like you imagined. In fact, ah, ya, yeah, por, por sospechoso se refiere a doctor. Dice. Como dice el doctor, tomate un perecetemel que te cura hasta la depresión XD. Mm. And I don't want to give away any spoilers, so travelers will have to check him out in game to learn more about his story. Okay. So, zip. That's all you hear out of me. <laughs> okay. Well, no matter what happens, I just hope that he'll be able to take care of himself. Me too. But besides his health, Baiju also has some other troubles to worry about. For example, Director Hu will sometimes put up ads outside of Bubu Pharmacy to promote her funeral party. <laughs> La Hutao. Poor little Chi Chi is terrified of Hu Tao. <laughs> there are some days he really has his hands full. Yeah, that does sound like something that Hu Tao would do. As fate would have it, Baiju's master and the former director of Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor both studied together under the same master. Ah, chinga. Two had differing views on the concepts of life and death, and ended up going their separate ways. Their differences were their apprentices, which has led to Baiju and Hu Tao's different views. In version 3.6, oh, es que el papá de la otra. Through Baiju's story quest to hear some of Baiju's inner thoughts and learn more about this caring doctor. Interesting. Esa parte no la entendí muy bien. In his search for discovering new treatments and cures, Baiju will often choose to test new medicines on himself. As you spend time with Baiju in the field, you can make use of his knowledge of herbs and interact with certain harvestable items, which will heal your current active character. So, since Baiju is mm, a vale. doctor, I think it's pretty safe to say that most of his combat abilities are focused on healing, right? Yep, that's right. Baiju's treatment in battle is usually performed in two steps. Cristobal Gamer. Step one is to control a wandering sprite that cruises through the enemies and restores HP to his teammates. Step 
two is to create a shield. When the shield refreshes, ends, or is broken, not only will it provide healing, but it will also deal dendro damage to enemies. Baiju believes that even in a difficult spot, as long as the diagnosis and treatment are done properly, lives can always be saved. Sweet! Looks like we'll be able to try out some new team compositions with him in mind. Aparece el ulti, ¿no? El escudo del ulti. That's all we have for Baiju, so let's move on to our next playable character. Cristóbal Gamer. Sí, por lo que veo en la segunda vela. I'm glad you gave me a chance. I always think it takes people with similar tastes to sustain a puzzle. Cristóbal Gamer. Dice. Básicamente un soporte por excelencia. Ajá. Come at me. Breaking new ground. Hubieran hecho el chibi de Kabe, güey. Me imagino que no tuvo el autor no, el, que da la voz a Kabe a lo mejor no tuvo no coincidió el horario para hacer el live. Okay, okay, okay. Did you see him make? Well, no le hacen, no, pero sí. That'll be useful for me. Yeah, that was crazy. And the toolbox, he has some pero ve la, accessories. I am jealous. La moneda esa que está ahí enfrente. Es de cuatro estrellas. Okay, so since Kabe has some connections with Dory, I'll introduce him. Uh, Kabe is an architect and has this like keen sense for beauty and the arts no, that pues. he's developed ever since he was a child. Fin de semana. Que sube la presión. Yo no sube la presión. Ah, y ya no lo como. Pero también incorpora su propia artística, haciendo que se sientan únicos y no valiosos. Well, he sounds like a genius, so we must be pretty successful. Llévalo. Yeah. Uh, well, he doesn't quite lead the life of success and carefree spending. Like no, me lo estás quitando. Uh, it's, it's actually kind of the opposite. He hardly no, has enough no, more to survive. No, no, no. Uh, me lo estás quitando. Okay, so he's Así que sea una buena doctora y quítamelo. Uh, why is that? Me gusta ese círculo que hace. Bueno, he's a very perceptive person. Bueno, paciente. No. Tú eres mi hermana, tú quítalo. No te lo comas porque... Ponle de la niña. No, porque ella compra otro. Pero son para mañana. Nada más lo cambio. Dice, pega mucho en área y eso es bueno. ¿Mm? Like all of it. <laughs> wow, what a nice but gullible guy. <laughs> yeah. And on top of that, he doesn't limit himself with the cost of construction. I mean, take the Palace of Alcazar as an Normal canon. Pero esa es la alta ahí. No. Es un ataque cargado. Dice. No la elemental. But like Anjali just said, Kave can understand how many people feel, but understanding doesn't always mean agreement. Right. Yeah, I think we're starting to understand Kave's character a little better now. So next we can move on to some of his talents. Yeah, for sure. As Venga. an architect, Kave can help everyone save some materials when creating furnishings, and his mapping abilities might come in handy during battle. As a unique and creative designer, Kave must always bring tools with him. His toolbox, named Maroc, not only provides Kave with tools, but also has many interesting uses. For example, Maroc's mapping ability allows him to scan the battlefield, causing all certain AoE to burst immediately. Que te In addition to that, when Maroc completely releases its energy, it converts Kave's attack damage to dendro damage and increases Kave's combat capabilities. Ah, o sea, la, ulti, la ulti lo embulle. Dice. Esa es la alta ahí. Vale, con, con la habilidad pega y con la ulti lo embulle. Vale, ok. Actually causes him to recover a set amount of HP when he takes damage from a dendro core. It's always good to have a reliable partner like that. Changshan sí, no, always gives Baiju a lot of help too, you know. Exactly, but Maroc is pretty remarkable. It can Cristo even be a sword for Kave. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty awesome. Ahí está, mira, esa habilidad. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, okay, es el cargado. So that should be just about everything we have for Kave. How should I say this? Sí, el cargado. I think his character has more depth than we expected. Well, he Cristo is Valgamer. a distinguished architect from Dice, the Nation of Wisdom. So si el básico we cargado. shouldn't underestimate him. 
Yeah, Kaveh will be appearing in the main event for version 3.6, so maybe we give some details about that next? Normal canon. Oh, okay, okay, I got this one. Dice. Vale. Our main event Mejor for que version 3.6 is the Academia Extravaganza. In addition to the variety of celebrations, the event also serves as a chance for the six Darshans to compete. The Extravaganza consists of two main parts, the Wisdom Gala and the Inter-Darshan Championship. In the Wisdom Gala, Cristo the six Valgamer. Darshans have prepared six Dice. corresponding activities Cabe to show off the style of each Anilu. respective school. As for the Inter-Darshan Championship, each of the Darshans will be selecting a single member to represent their school in a large competition. Okay. Hmm. Great. So maybe we can talk about some gameplay that travelers can expect to see. Vale, pero hay uno que no conocemos, ¿no? Getting a total of six different game modes this time. That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Each of the six darshans will be compiling their research to provide fun mini games for everyone to enjoy. For example, Leila's Rodawahis Darshan will be setting up an astrolabe used for studying astrology at the Oh, qué guapo el astrolabio. The astrolabe to the appropriate height and angle. The stars on the astrolabe will light up and form a pattern. Look, this time Oh, bueno, ya lo ya hicimos. Esto lo hicimos en el en, en, en la en la 2.8 2.9 algo así. Kasharawar will have a game that displays their understanding of mechanisms and architecture. Travelers will learn how to use the least possible materials to build a road that meets certain requirements within a limited space. Ooh, I'm already getting a lot of ideas for this one. Okay. <laughs> It seems travelers will have a lot of freedom to try whatever arrangements they can think of to reach those goals. Uh-huh. Yeah. Next is Vahumana. They're taking their booth pretty seriously. They will be holding an archaeological activity where travelers will use specialized equipment to detect relic replicas. Travelers will have to carefully observe the surrounding environment as they search and even eliminate external interference affecting the detectors to find the relic replicas. Oh, well this is all very nice, but uh, are there any games where we won't have to go running around as much? I'm lazy. <laughs> yes, there's something for everyone in these game modes. With this one, you can just relax and stay put while you listen to a story. But as you're listening, you also get to ask the storyteller some questions. If you're able to ask and uncover some key information, then you'll receive some clues to lead you to the truth of the story. Very mysterious. Hmm. Y te ponen de fondo la canción. No mames. To put travelers' combat abilities to the test within a set amount of time. Of course, they'll kindly provide a variety of potions to help travelers overcome situations in the experiment. Awesome. Very cool. And, mm -hmm. and last but not least is a little bionic experiment set up by Tainari's Amorta Darshan. Travelers will be able to control replicas of various creatures and command their movement according to a specific rhythm. Hmm. Oh, this is a guapa. everything we have for the Wisdom Gala. So which Darshan's events are you all most excited about? Oh, you know, Spontamod, because that's what I'm all about. The combat and... In battle and victory Valgamer. and never losing. Nuevos eventos, gracias, Miyuji. I like the star one. I like stars. It's very cool. Yeah. I'm most excited to listen to a story because I think that's about my speed. <laughs> oh, I get that. And let's not forget that in addition to the Wisdom Gala, Pero te fijaste que hay una que no sabemos cuál es. Championship. This is a contest of wisdom and courage, and you won't want to miss seeing which Darshan is able to claim the title of champion. Very cool. Oh, and there is one more thing to mention here. Layla's very own hangout quest will be arriving with version 3.6. Ah, vale, va a salir Layla. Sure not to miss it. Okay, that's all. Yay, we get to hang out with Pero te diste cuenta que no hablaron del que estaba escondido. ¿Será alguna sorpresa? And our next event will also be taking place in Sumeru. Waynoot activity has suddenly been on the rise, mm -hmm. and the academia is Cristo dispatching Valgamer. researchers to respond to the problem. Dice. This time, no, si we'll be helping scholars XD. clear the desert of obstructions. Ah, pues no lo escuché que dijeron, Chris. The Waynoot Slayer Cannon and repel the wandering Waynoot. The Waynoot Slayer Cannon, huh? Wow, that, yeah, that's quite the name. <laughs> <laughs> As its name implies, it's very effective against Waynoot. Our task will be to clear out any monsters nearby and help with the preparations so the cannon can start attacking. I'm sure our travelers will be able to help handle the situation. Oh, yeah. Uh, we also have one other event for travelers to continue improving their combat abilities. During the challenge, travelers will have to complete three consecutive combat rounds. During each round, the ah, este ya lo, ya lo, ya lo presentamos, ¿no? Sí, es el de las pociones. Possible effects at set intervals of time. Oh, so I guess it's safe to say that no two rounds will play the same. 
Vale, ya, ya. Sí. Lo hicimos en la 3.0, creo este. Vale, ahorita el que viene anteriormente este es el de, de experiencia ahorita y de ahí es el de sabiduría. Cristóbal Gamer. Oh, vale, los conjuntos de artefactos. Vale, a ver. Tiene miedo al éxito porque no hace uno de artefactos XD. Ahí está hidrodamaje y el otro es de vida, ¿vale? Que eso lo sabíamos. El de abajo es el de ella y el de arriba es el de. De, el de algún hidro XYZ Que todavía no sabemos qué pedo Vale, está bien Acuérdame de hacer video de esta madre Que tengo que hacer video de, lo, de los artefactos Los artefactos venden bastante uh. Cristóbal Gamer Dice Dicen que va a ser para Tartaglia y Ayato Tartaglia y Ayato, sí Sí, porque hasta... Sí, es para 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 cualquier agua que meta ataque de daño. We are back and ready to show an all new area being added to the game. That's right, and I hope you're all as excited as we are. This area is located deep in the desert, in the northwest of the desert of Hadramavid. No, According to legends, it was one of the main rifts that monsters were emerging from during the Conry disaster 500 years ago, in the site of a battlefield where God suppressed the power of the abyss. Oh. Although it was originally desert, Cristobal the ecological Gamer. system has completely Dice, changed due to the power ahora of the tendremos abyss, el árbol de los araneras completo. uninhabited area of swamps and wastelands. So, you're saying that we might be able to uncover some buried secrets about Conria there? On second thought, it kind of sounds like it might be dangerous. Yeah. Luckily, we have some little helpers to assist us in our search. There will be a party named Soruj waiting for us that will lend us its abilities, allowing travelers to freely fly across parts of the area and access some locations that would be impossible on foot. Cristobal Gamer. Wait. Ahora somos un pajarito. After helping Soros recover its power, Cristobal Gamer dice: XD. We will guide Soros to drive away enemies, conduct speed training, and complete puzzles, so be sure to check it out. Travelers may also encounter a new enemy during their journey in version 3.6. The iniquitous. El Bautista. Its abilities include using multiple elements in battle and creating shields for corresponding elements to reduce damage. It definitely looks like it'll be a formidable enemy. That's not Cristo all. Valgamer. We have two more Dice. interesting enemies that Creo que ese will será para Valle Sur. Animo and Hydro Hilly Churl Rogues. These Hilly Churls are wandering across Tevat and do not belong to any particular Hilly Churl tribe. Sometimes they assist other Hilly Churls or tribes in need of help. And they also have a unique combat style. No, el Hilly Churl es el más elemental. This place is full of new dangers. That still won't stop the traveler from bringing new hope to the region. Some clues related. Al ritmo que van, vamos a encontrar Hilly Churl humanos, ¿no? Y ahora hay Hilly Churl que pelean como humanos, ¿no? And last but not least, in version 3.6, the legendary dragon of Verger. Está viste que es un dragón. The dragon of Verger was once an emerald green dragon that ruled Sumeru. But its color later changed to that of yellow sand. Recently, it seems to be suffering from some kind of illness. Travelers will be making their way to the Dendro Dragon's habitat to face it in battle, so we must be very careful. The battle will be split into three phases. An interesting part to take note of is that in the second phase of the fight, travelers will need to protect the Dendro Dragon from monsters in order to prevent the dragon's illness from getting any worse. 
Huh. Wait, oh. what? That's different? Yes, and in the third phase, the Dentro Dragon will unleash some extremely powerful attacks, so travelers will need to be careful to avoid those. Oof. Oh, yeah. At this point, we don't know what the Dendro Dragon has been through and what exactly caused it to change into its current twisted form. Perhaps we'll get some more answers after we faced it in battle. Yeah. The dragon has a close connection with Sumeru's history and gods. Going into its lair and determining what's causing its current condition is an important task and will be helpful to the entire nation of Sumeru. So, if you'd like to learn more about the Dendro Dragon, then be sure to check out Chapter 2 of Nahida's Story Quest. Oh, for sure. I think there'll be a lot of interesting things for travelers to learn in this one, so be sure to look forward to it. Absolutely. And uh, that's about all we have for new content in the upcoming version. But before we wrap things up, we have an announcement regarding Genshin Impact. Ah, vale, la música esa ya no me interesa. The album for the Sumeru region titled The Unfathomable Sand Dunes will also be releasing soon. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. I love the Sumeru region. Nah, no quiero escuchar la música. Venga, a ver. Ah, vale, el último código y ya. Pero no es necesario que lo vean. Así que nada, vamos a ver qué más nos van a decir por aquí. Código, yo no quiero código. Ahí está. Venga, ahora sí. A ver, ya puedo finalizar el video, chicos. So, it seems like there's going to be a lot to enjoy in the new version. I know, right? Yeah. You know what? I'm looking forward to spending more time with Nahida in her new story quest chapter. And, and, and confronting the new Dendro Dragon. Right. Yeah, that's gonna be crazy. I'm I'm super happy to have gotten to come on this special program today. It was my first time. This is so cool. Yeah. And yeah. also that trailer was so cool. Ah, so Definitely. Sad. It was. I think it's really cool that people will get to discover more about Baiju and that there's more to him than just the man who works at the Boo Boo Pharmacy. <laughs> He's got layers. True. True that. I'm looking forward to the new area, new playables, and of course, the academia extravaganza looked super, super fun to me. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. But yeah, this is the end of the special program. It's been so great hanging with you guys. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Thank you for having me again. Of course, this is the end. Oh. I'll see you guys all in game. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. 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 -bye. Así que nada chicos, gracias por haber estado aquí, espero les haya gustado este, eh, mi primera reacción al programa especial, está guapísimo, comentarios máximos si quieren por ahí es, eh, me parece un, una buena versión, traen dos jefes, dos jefes interesantes, obviamente van a tener mecánicas únicas, uno es de mundo, por fin ya nos vamos a despedir ahora sí de Signora, adiósito a la pobre Signora, ya nada más nos va a quedar creo Raiden, eh, Scaramouche y el dragón nuevo, eh, vamos a tener otro personaje con el cual vamos a, Sacar piezas que va a ser creo que la abisal. El, algo así de la abisal que los elementales. Este, vamos a conocer nuevas cosas sobre el cataclismo. Eh, lo cual viene también bien. Eh, vamos a tener una nueva zona para explorar. O sea, muchas más protogemas para aquellos que queremos seguir sacando personajes. Mm, ¿Qué más? Uh, dos nuevos personajes. KB, que ya sabemos. Bueno, ya se sabe. Que van a, va a funcionar muy bien con, con personajes dentro, por lo que parece. Y además va a ser fácil usar y armar, por lo cual van a ir bastante bien. Por ahí tiene algunas habilidades que obviamente no voy a, no voy a decir por aquí. Eh, tiene algunas habilidades interesantes. Eh, en el caso de información la puede buscar por internet. Y en el caso de Baizu, pues va a ser un healer. Un, eh, escudero, con lo no cual viene bastante bien. Sigue siendo un soporte. Dice. La misión de Najida y la isla Najida nos van a dar más protogemas. Y no se les olvide, sobre todo lo más importante, los artefactos. Que ya les voy a traer un video de eso más adelante porque tengo que analizarlos bien y pensar más o menos a, en, en qué apartado van a sacar su potencial y ya les traería más adelante el video, así que nada chicos, por aquí les dejo el video y si se me olvidó algo ya saben como siempre dejen ahí su comentario en la parte de abajo y nos estaremos viendo hasta la próxima, venga